Tree diagrams, they're a really useful way to show combined events and probability, especially for us with consecutive events. Things that happen in order, like in time. You know, first this has to happen, then that has to happen. So let's look at an example and see if we can just build it from scratch. And so we're going to take a look at the events that might occur for a family to have three children. And we're going to assume the probability for boys and girls are equal. So the probability of having a boy is 0 0.5, and the probability of having a girl will be 0 0.5. And I've got a few questions for us to answer, but we've got to start building up the tree. So a good place to start is just at the beginning. You're having, or this person, this family's having their first child. And they could either have a boy, or they could have a girl. And this is the first. So, this is our start node, the very beginning of it. And from that start, we're going to branch out and show each possibility, which we did, a boy or a girl. We'll write the probability as either a fraction or a decimal. So 0 0.5 and 0 0.5, because it's the same whether you have a boy or a girl. And one thing to notice there is that if I add those two numbers up, because those are all the possibilities off that node, they add to 1. 1 half plus 1 half gets 1. Okay, so now let's put on the options for the second child. Well, these expand out because I could have had a boy in the first instance, so then I'd still have the options of having a boy or a girl for a second child. Or I could have had a girl as the second child, and I'd have my option for a boy or for a girl. Probabilities are still the same, because these are independent events, and it doesn't really matter how many children this person has. They still have a one-half chance of having a boy or a girl. Now we've got our third child option to put in here. So they could have had a boy and a boy, and then they could have another boy, or they could have a girl. So again, for each of these possibilities of the previous two children, they still have the option for a boy or a girl on every single one. And the probabilities here will again be 0 0.5 each time, because we'd expect it to be the same for the boys and the girls. Now, not all trees will have the exact same probability. So once we've got that sorted, we're going to look at trying to calculate some of these questions. So the first one that I've got here is what's the probability that they have three girls? Well, if we want to find out the probability of three girls, what you do is you go to the start, and you trace your fingers along. You can use a highlighter if you want. The first option is a girl, they have another girl, and then they have a third girl. So I can write my outcomes here. That's girl, girl, girl. Three girls in a row. So if you want to know one particular probability, we're going to times along the branch to find out the probability for that series of outcomes. So that's 0 0.5, and then times 0 0.5, and then times 0 0.5. And this kind of goes back to that those questions we were working on about combined probabilities, where I want a girl, and a girl, and another girl. These are all ands, so I'm going to be timesing together. But again, with trees, you can just think about times along the branch. That'll be 0 0.125. Okay, so that's the probability for three girls. And it's relatively straightforward, because there's only one option for three girls. So let's look at the next question here. Probability of a boy and a boy and a girl in that order. Okay, so they're telling me I have to go in a particular order. They want a boy, and then a boy, and then a girl. So that's the outcome, boy, boy, girl. So there's only one way to have a boy and a boy and then a girl, because they're talking about order matters here. So to find my probability, I need again, I need to times along those numbers. So that's 0 0.5 times 0 0.5 times 0 0.5. I'll just write out the answer this time. It's 0 0.125. So again, only one particular way to get that order. So that's my answer, 0 0.125. Which was the same for having three girls, 0 0.125.
Next one. What's the probability of having two boys? Well, how many ways can that happen? I can do it this way. Two boys and then a girl. A boy, a girl, and then a boy. Or I can have a girl and then a boy and a boy. So that's the ways that we can combine together here to get a boy, a girl, and a boy. That's two boys. Or a girl, a boy, and a boy. That's two boys again. And there was the option we looked at previously of boy, boy, and then girl. So I need to find the probability for each of these individual outcomes. Same thing, same thing for all of them. I'll times along. So that's one half times one half times one half will still get me 0 0.125. And one half times one half times one half will still get me 0 0.125. That's again 0 0.5 times 0 0.5 times 0 0.5. Now the catch here is that I've got three different situations that I want. So if more than one set of outcomes is wanted, we need to add them together. So to get two boys, my ways that that can happen are three ways here. So I'm going to add all three of those together. 0 0.375. So I have a 0 0.375 chance of having two boys in any order. In our last situation here, what's the probability of having one boy given that the first was a girl? So given the first child was a girl, if you've been given information, I want you to start from that point in the tree. So here, given that the first was a girl, what's the probability of having one boy? And this is coming back to the things we looked at with the tables about conditional or given or hints. We kind of highlighted a certain part of the table that we wanted to use. So same idea here, we're only going to use part of the tree, and I'm going to start here with the fact that my first child is a girl. So I don't care about those first two options, I know I've got a girl. And from that situation, the ways that I can have only one boy would be to have a boy and then a girl, or to have a girl and then a boy. Those are my possible options to get the first girl, a boy, and then a girl, and then again here to get the first girl, another girl, and then a boy. So since it's been given to me as a hint, I'm actually going to start my probability in this situation. So since that's been given to me, I'm going to start there, and it's 0 0.5 times 0 0.5. So 0 0.5 times 0 0.5 will get me 0 0.25. And for the second possibility, again, 0 0.5 times 0 0.5, 0 0.25. And since there's more than one option like we had before, we need to add those together. So 0 0.25 plus 0 0.25 is going to equal to 0 0.5. So that's the probability given that the first one is a girl that I have one boy. And that's different for these ones. I did not get 0 0.125 here because again I'm starting in this place and times in from there. So these are both numbers for given first was a girl. So again that's like a hint, it narrows down our situation a little bit. So you start from there in the table and then times from that point that you're starting at. So as an example if they said given the first child was a boy, I would start on the boy and then times along from there for whatever outcome I was looking for. So with probability trees, remember across the branches they have to add to 1. To find the probability you times along and if you're given some information make sure you start there in the tree and if it's more than one outcome add them up after you've times along to figure out what the individual ones are.